I think I've missed one yet, and if, if I did, I, I sincerely apologize to all my military brothers out there. Um, Captain Boomer's podcast has always been and always will be a military appreciation station. God bless you guys, wherever you may be, whatever your MOS is, whatever country you're serving in, and whatever branch of service that you, uh, you uh, choose to serve in. God bless you guys and gals keeping us safe, keeping our freedoms back home, keeping us uh, all safe. Uh, God bless you guys. You're a very, very special group of people, without a doubt. Thank you very much for, for serving our country. And now we even need you more, more probably than ever, because things are just uh, getting a little crazy. Are they not? We can only uh, pray to the big guy and, and, and hope that he's going to get us through this all right. And, yeah, I... And that's about it. God bless all the nurses that were over in Vietnam. God bless all the donut alleys that were over there um, looking after us, uh, mending us up, saving our lives. God bless you gals. I know you don't get enough recognition, but uh, you'll get it with me. Uh, you'll get it with Captain Boomer's podcast. Anyways, the HGO comedy. That's what we're called right now. Captain Boomer's HGO comedy. Yes, and I don't know uh, if you heard or not, but HGO stands for Hell Getting Old, and we're going to have segments on <laughs> different stuff. But basically, guys, all I'm trying to do is get a get a few laughs and have a few uh, have a few chuckles, and maybe uh, you know spread a little joy and a little bit of humor. Lord knows we need it. And uh, uh, this is the longest show that I have ever done. Uh, I've never done a show this long, and you'll probably are saying, oh, no wonder, duh. Uh, but anyway, <laughs> it is what it is. God bless you. Uh, <laughs> and uh, God bless to all the people listening to me. I got uh, Laval, Canada. I love you guys. I, I don't know what's going on, but boy, I tell you, I, I don't get any feedback, and I really wish I could get more feedback or live chats or something. Um, uh, but anyway, Laval, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, Laval? Uh, it's in Canada. That's a small town. I think it's outside of Montreal. You guys have been listening to me uh, kind of almost semi-religiously, and I, I really appreciate it. I, I really need more, some staunch listeners out there and uh, whatnot. And maybe drop me a line or two. Let me know how I'm doing or what I'm not doing or what would you like to hear or what would you like to listen to or what can we talk about. We'll talk about just about any damn thing, but the bottom line is... It's all about us boomers. It really is. This is all the show is about because I believe in our generation. I really do. I think it's probably one of the last generations, if not the last, that's um, <laughs> that's actually, I shouldn't say it, they're out there. I mean, our morals, our values, and the way that we were brought up, um, yeah, I, I think we are definitely a cornerstone uh, to getting this country and uh, uh, turned around and getting back on track and maybe uh, introducing uh, the big guy, whatever, into our schools again. And there's, we have gotten so far off track, uh, it's not even funny. I mean, uh, so many areas of our society is just falling by the wayside. And I think a big part of it is to uh, invite uh, the big guy back into our society, uh, uh, in our, especially in our schools. Um, okay, having said that, I hope you guys have a good evening. God bless you guys. Uh, Captain Boomer, I just uh, get a chance. Hey, listen, I, I try to be on. Uh, if I get a good response from this show tonight, I'm probably going to do more evening shows. Uh, I normally been doing shows Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays uh, at 8.30 in the morning. For years, it was 7.30, and I I just thought that might have been too early. Uh, so, yeah. So, I don't know if I'll have a show tomorrow. Because uh, this was kind of a lengthy one. And, uh, yeah. But anyways. Anyway, God bless you guys. God bless all the boomers. And uh, like I said, this is just a little hobby of mine. And, uh, I don't know. Uh, as long as I can speak and sing and push a few buttons, I'm going to keep doing it. God bless you guys. Take care of yourself. Wear your mask, damn it, please. That younger generation, you all should have your ass kicked. Or a kick in the ass. What's wrong with you? Oh, God, it just... Oh, she's these 24 year old mothers walking to Target or Walmart, whatever. Got two, three kids with her and stuff. None of them got a mask on, you know. Oh, I don't get it. 
This is what's going on. This is this is a big part of the problem. Nobody is on the same damn page. That's the problem right there, too. The testing, fine and all that, but still, you can't have different states doing different things. You're either all on the same page. You know, we're either all going to be on the ship, say, you know, and be okay, or we're all just going to go down with the ship. You know, it's just, let's, uh, you know, let's just uh, call it what it is. There's a lot of greedy, young, stupid kids out there that still want to drink and party in the bars. I don't get it. The bars should be the first thing that is completely shut down. Every freaking bar in the country. Oh, geez, I wonder why. Oh, you ever try to drink and eat? Well, eating too, I guess, to a certain degree. I mean, you know, you got to take your mask off. But anyway, I'm talking rat and raver. Anyway, did I have a good show out there, guys? What do you think, huh? <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I got to get out of here, guys. God bless you. Take care of each other. God bless you. I'm going to diddy mile, baby. I'm going to diddy mile.